Hello everyone and welcome to this live demo and Q&A session about the I Work in Sport Education Virtual Expo which will take place this week uh, from the 6th to the 8th of April so from tomorrow until Thursday so this session is aimed at people who are attending the event right so if you haven't registered yet you can still do it it's free there's a link in the description if you're just came to watch this because you're curious about it but haven't uh, registered yet you can still do it um for the next uh, half hour maybe 40 minutes 40 minutes or so i will explain how the event and the digital platform work um, and what you will find in the event right and why you should not miss it right you have to be there if you're here i suppose that you're interested i'll explain all about that so uh, this is supposed to be interactive right so feel free uh, prepare your questions if you already have some you can write down in comment in the comments of course if you have watched the um, uh, previous uh, interviews you know that I always like to know where you're watching from. We have a super international audience, so it would be great if you let me know. Uh, yeah, where you're watching from. And also, write in the comments as well if you have already registered uh, for the events that will start tomorrow. Um, However, if you're not very familiar with our work in sports, let me give you a short explanation of what we do. And by the way, my name is João Figerio. I'm the founder of I Work in Sport. And in short, we're a platform made to help you boost your career in sport, right? So we connect talent and recruiters, especially, but not only through a series of events, but we also promote career growth and education always in sport, right? Um, of course, it's not only talent and recruiters that we connect. Um, we're having the Education Virtual Expo. So there we'll be connecting uh, prospective students to some of the best sports management programs in the world, right? So in addition to, to that, the events that starts tomorrow we also um, organize other two events uh, the i work in sport job fair which normally takes place here in lausanne switzerland and it's digital version right uh, so it's a digital version of that same event which is the virtual job fair so the next virtual job fair will take place on the 21st of May. I'm gonna talk a little more about that um, at the end. Um, also because, I mean, everyone that is attending this event is getting to know the programs. We'll also enter a draw to, to win a free ticket for the virtual job fair. Right, so I recommend that you check us out at uh, iworkinsport.com. Uh, or our social media channels. We're everywhere uh, as I work in sport. Here's uh, where we are at. We're on uh, YouTube, of course. So LinkedIn is forward slash company, forward slash I work in sport. Then Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, always at I work in sport. Um, so, but um, if you go to our site, you will find a lot of useful information. Uh, we have an excellent uh, job board, which is updated daily. You can also download a guide with more than 25 sports-specific job boards. If you um, go to our site uh, later on. Also, the other kinds of things that you find there are uh, our insights that are also updated weekly, uh, resources that are selected for you, uh, and career coaches that may be able to help you on their on one-to-one -on -one sessions, right? Also on LinkedIn, in addition to our page, we do have a group where a community interacts, so you can you know exchange ideas um, with them too. It's called We Work in Sports, so you can find us there. 
And of course, last but not least, we also have a weekly interview show here on YouTube, on our YouTube channel. Uh, so every week we, uh, we bring in accomplished sports uh, professionals who come here to share the knowledge, their experience, and also give advice to those that are starting their career in sport. So if you don't want to miss any of that, make sure you subscribe to, to our YouTube channel. And um, of course, if you can also hit that bell icon to receive the notifications. Um, so today we're going to be uh, talking about the Education Virtual Expo. I will show you how the platform works. Let me see, there's already some comments um, here. So Mike, uh, Rob is uh, watching us, basketball coaches, Torres, uh, Salvatore Sabato, Sam Omen in um, Morere in Bahia. Sam Omen is actually uh, one of the program's representatives. We'll have a stand there tomorrow. It's nice to have you with us. Moses Milambo in South Africa. Let me show some of, their, of your names here. Moses and Mike says hi as well. Salvatore. Here's Nomvelo in Zimbabwe. Hello, Mame in Santos, Brazil. Bruno van der Leij connecting from Zurich. Great to see you here. Yasmin in Paris. Sanket uh, in India. Amea also in India. It's great to have you uh, with us. So um, what we're going to do today is I'm going to go through some questions um, and, well, and of course, answer each of them. We have already received also from, from a previous event that we did some uh, frequently asked questions uh, about this event. So I'll address them. Hopefully that will give you a good insights of how everything will work. And of course, as you're connecting and if you have questions, just write on the comments, maybe write question in, in caps lock because if there are too many comments, I might miss uh, one of them or some of them. So I try not to miss any and we'll get to that. So, uh, let me just find some of the questions here. Right. The first one that is the big one and probably all of all of the others will stem from that is how does the event work? Right. So for that, I will share my screen with you to answer that. I hope you can see my screen. Let me know in the comments. Um, right. So this is what you see when you get there. First of all, actually, I will tell you, maybe this is one question that will appear uh, later on, but I will show you how to get to this page. All right. Um, So tomorrow, when the event is sorry, when the event um, is open, and it opens at uh, eight a.m. European time. So if you're in England or in Portugal or somewhere else, that's going to be from seven a.m. Now the Central European summer time will be from eight to one uh, in the afternoon. The first day, then the second day will be from one to six. And then the third day from 6 to 11 uh, p.m. I'll get back to those times later. But anyway, if you, let's say tomorrow morning, you want to connect, what's the easiest way to do? You go to iworkinsport.com, go to the website. This is going to be the first thing that you will see. Register now. Just click here and you come to the uh, landing page of the event with a few instructions, there's a video. Again, here you'll find the dates and times. But what you see, what you will see is this. 
If you're not registered yet, as I said, you can go and register. Uh, if you are already registered, all you have to do is to write your uh, email address from which you, you registered and your password. If you, for some reason, don't remember it, just click and forgot your password, you will receive a link in your uh, email and you will be able to connect from there. Once you log in, this is what you'll see. This is the home page of the event. Just give me one minute. <clears throat> right, so you're here at, um, at the home page. This will be the first thing that you'll see. And it's supposed to be very, very in intuitive, right? So there is a menu for you to navigate here. Here you will be able to see the agenda for the three days. Here, go to the auditorium. Here, there's an, a lounge that I'll show you about, the help desk. Here on the left is a menu that will stay for all pages, right? So you either go to one of these uh, programs. If you already know where you want to go first, you click on one of them and you go to their uh, booth or you just go to the exhibit hall, which is, the, let's say, the core of the event. So imagine that you're in a real event with stands uh, for uh, each program there. And this is what you will see, right? If you don't see them, uh, all of them here, in the, of course, in the first screen, what you have to do is to scroll to, to the right and find what are the programs that you want to visit. Now, I strongly recommend that you see you visit all of them. They're all different. They're all super high quality. And I encourage you to speak with all of them, right? So to give you an example, we go to this one here in the ASTS, or, or you move to the right and go to another one. This is one from Jusur. This is from the University of Liverpool. And and you can have you can yeah navigate also from booth to booth as well right uh, so let me go back to here i'm using the, the right bar so here for instance in, in this one i is open a chat box from the beginning i'll show you more about that so what happens when you go to a stand so the first thing you can do is just check out what they have there, right? So, for instance, here they will have an introduction video that will, be, that will play for the first time that you go there or when you come back, you can play on the top to, to, to watch it. Uh, there is information about the programs here. These are links. These are uh, brochures that you can download uh, if you want. So that's the kind of the content you find, brochures, links, and, uh, and videos. In this case, there are these three programs, N plus coaching, and they also have the same content that they have here in Spanish, right? Now, okay, you, you, you got to, to the stand, and you, and you click and you already check the brochures and you check the videos. That's the kind of thing that you can also do in their own website, right? So one thing you will want to do is actually to chat with them. So there's two ways that you can chat here. One is by clicking here, what you will see, this is a, a public chat box. So if I write here, Hello. Uh, anyone that comes to this page will see my comment here. And if someone else is uh, actually attending the event, and I can see here, if I go to this location, I can see that uh, Alexandre is here too. So if, right, so he just posted another message here. This is a public chat. And if you want to ask a question, uh, public question, you can post it here 
and someone that are either visiting or one of the representatives the representatives will post their question here right their sorry their answer here um so yeah so this is a uh, the the first thing is the, the public chat now the uh, the other thing that you might want to do is to chat with the team right and uh and if you're chatting with the um, if you want to chat with the team here just go to connect with our team and this is the list of people that are the representatives in this case for instance in the johan cruyff booth these are the team that will be there to talk to you now they're all offline at the moment so it's great when they're online we have um, alex here for the test he's here so he's green i can start a private chat with him hello alex can you help me and then he will start the conversation with you he also all, all the um, representatives in the booth they can invite you for a video chat we're not going to do this now but trust me it works they can um, you will be able to have a video chat with the booth representatives too okay so this is how you're going to interact with them let's say you want to speak with candela and she is not here at the moment you can still leave her a message just write the title here if you want to put any attachment you can this is the message you send when she connects again she will see that um, you were there so she will uh, get in touch with you okay um right as I, as i said then you can go from one booth to the other either here or you can just go back to the to the exhibit hall and then go this way and then you jump uh yeah from booth to booth here now so as i said this is probably the main part of the event the most important part of the event and then the second probably uh main part of the event is the auditorium and we will send an agenda to you uh later tonight so you will receive that before the event starts with the agenda for days one two and three so for instance here on day one there are already uh, the uh the videos uh, posted here i actually should have uh, connected with uh, with a different account because i'm i'm using a um, an administrat admi administrator account so i i can't see the the countdown clock here i will come back to that uh, later and i'll show you what it looks like but when you come here none of these videos will be playable and they will have um, a countdown clock right so they will all run live for the first time okay and yes so when when you come here there will be the times for for each of them um, another areas of the site is a, a help desk if you have any technical issue there's a place where you can go and ask for help okay and there's also a um, lounge if you want to talk to other visitors you can come here if you click here you start you start a chat and as i said welcome sorry everyone it's great to have you here you will can you'll be able to go and start the chat here now it may be that someone left the chat here and then left this room or left the event this is where you go to know who is online so if i go here where it says uh, now attending there are three people connected uh, to to the platform at the moment right 
And if I go to this location, it's only me. Let me see if there are, there are more questions there at the moment. One second. Right. Um, Alex just reminded me here that I can maybe show you something else. For instance, when you are in a booth and you check uh, content. So this, for instance, is a PDF by uh, Liverpool. I looked at it and I, if I don't want to download it right now, but I want to save it as a favorite one, I can click here on the briefcase. And then this means that it goes to my favorite is if I'm carrying my own briefcase at the event. If I click here, there's everything that I, I saved in the briefcase. In, in this case is only this event at the moment, okay, which I can uh, view and, and download later. I think that for the first question, this is um, was a good overview. If you have, if I wasn't clear, if you have questions, let me know in the comments. I will go to the other ones now. So, when will the event happen? And when can I have access to the platform? Right, so the event happens in the next three days. So it starts tomorrow, Tuesday, and then it goes Wednesday and Thursday. So the 6th to the 8th of April. And you'll be able to access the event at uh, 8 a.m. tomorrow, right? And, and then that will remain open until uh, the end of the event. So the times of the events are, again, tomorrow european time and then if you go and check the um if you check the the, the websites and or if you check the the landing page there are the times there as well also actually let me show you here if i come here you will see that uh, we also marked some time differences to to help you know so if you compare to us uh, eastern daytime uh, daylight uh, time or pacific or indian uh, standard time so there are differences here anyway so it will go from european time 8 to 1 p.m 1 p.m the second day 1 p.m to 6 and then the third day from 6 to 11. And we meant to do it this way to really touch our global audience. So we expect that uh, tomorrow we'll have a bigger audience um, in Asia, then probably the second day more from Europe and Africa, those uh, the African continents, those in the, those time zones, and then the late the third day from people in the Americas. Um, Will the three days be the same or should I attend different days? Right, if you could attend different days, it's probably good that you do. They are they are similar, but they are not exactly the same. I think the main differences are that um, some programs will be uh, presenting in the auditorium on the first day only. Um, if you come on the second day, you, you will be able to watch those presentations, not live, but they will be on demand. But then there will be uh, presentations that will happen only on the second day and only on the third day. So in terms of content, uh, it won't be exactly the same, if, especially if we think of the content in the auditorium. Um, also, uh, the programs will invite alumni to participate and also answer your questions. So if you want to know not only, uh, you know, technical questions about the programs like dates and the curriculum and how, you know, admissions work and prices, uh, but also if you want to ask about the experience of people that already study there, you'll be able to talk to alumni from the programs and they will vary as well. So people that will be on the first day
probably won't be there on, on the third. So if you want to talk to different people, you will want to come back on the second and third day too, if you can. I know it's at different times, it's difficult, but uh, it could be useful. So how do I log in to the Education uh, Virtual Expo? I explained that, I will show you very quickly again. Let me actually uh, show it this way, probably best. Again, my suggestion is go to iworkinsport.com. There the fir first banner that you will see is this one. Just click there, it will take you to the landing page. Uh, all you have to do, if you are already registered, is put the email address and password that you chose when you when you registered, and then click on login. If you haven't registered yet, you can do that at any time. And of course, if you forgot the password that you chose, you can uh, click here, forgot a password, you will receive the link to log in in your email address. Let me just check. Um, uh, uh, question, do I need to download any app? No, you don't. That you know, works is uh, on your browser, it's a re um, regular internet browser. Preferred browser is Chrome. So just you know, open your internet browser. Um, as I said, explain again. Go to iworkinspot.com, and from there you will be able to access the event without having to download any app. Can I access the event via or via mobile phone or tablet? Yes, you can. However, I don't recommend you do that. Uh, to be very frank, in my view, it works much better on your laptop or your desktop computer. So the way it, um, yeah, it works on the computer, I think it's much better than on your phone. It will work as well. You will see pretty much the same thing that you see there but uh, you will look a bit small and then you have to zoom in uh, to go and navigate and and participate in the in the chat but uh, again so it does work but if you can use your computer it's better another question here so do i receive a separate login and password you don't have any separate login and password you uh, chose your own password when you made your registration. I explained before, you, you're going to use that same thing. Um, and if you forget it, you can just click and forget password and you will receive a new way to, to log in later. Just um, another question. There's a question here. Let me address that one. Um, where is that? Oops. Mossad asks if there's a certificate uh, for attending the event. No, we don't give a certificate uh, for that, uh, Mossad. So, hello here to Erica, to Alexander, uh, watching us from Cuba. And Cebolio in Lesoto, Lesoto, Otacilio in Brazil. Alexander asks if there are courses that uh, can help people that uh, are studying or working with PE, so physical education. There could be uh, some programs for that. And I see that you posted in, in Spanish. Um, we're going to talk about languages in a second but uh, there are some programs in Spanish that uh, could be helpful for you. So take a look at the ESB, at the Johan Cruyff, at the Leadership Women Football. They're all based in Spain and it could be interested, uh, interesting for you. So let me go back to 
So the other questions. Uh, I think I mentioned that. Uh, is there a preferred internet browser I should use to connect? Yes, the system does work better with uh, Google Chrome. So if you're on Windows and you can do that, it's better to use that one. And if you're on Apple devices, the Firefox browser, I think, works much better than the Safari. So those were the preferred ones. Another question here, so is the event free to attend? Yes, 100% free. I hope I was clear from the beginning, uh, but if it's not, now I am. It's 100% uh, free. Here, which are the academic programs are presenting at the event? So we can see at the screen right there, so it's the ASTS based here in Lausanne, Cardinal Stritch University uh, in the US, Coventry, in Coventry, the Johann Cruyff Institute uh, with campuses in, in several places like Amsterdam and Barcelona, uh, the Montfort University in Leicester, ESB, ESBS, sorry, in Valencia, the FBA, the Football Business Academy, the Global Institute of Sport Business uh, from India, the Jusur Institute in Qatar, Doha, the LWF Academy based in Spain, the University of Liverpool, University of Oregon, University of Roehampton, London, the Sports Executive Path, which is entirely online, and the UCFB GIS, uh, primarily in, in London. Here. Are all the programs in English, uh, is the other question. Yes, I mean, there are uh, programs in other ling uh, languages too, but uh, all of them that I mentioned, all of those 15 programs offer programs in English. The event is all in English, all our communication is in English, but as I mentioned before, there are a few programs that's do offer um, yeah, programs in, in different languages. So I showed the Johan Cruyff uh, stand. They do have things in Spanish. So there's the ESBS. And I think the LWF uh, Academy does that in Spanish too. The question here is, what will I learn at the Education Virtual Expo? So. Prime, the, the main thing that we want you to get out of this is having information about the program. So in our minds, you're someone who's considering investing in education. You see that as a way to move forward, to grow, to boost your career. Um, either you want to start a career in sport, go, going uh, through education, or you're already working and you just you know want to improve it and want to invest in education. So when you go there, you get all the information that you need. And as I said, more than just uh, going to the program's websites, you will have the chance to speak with your representatives, ask every question that you have, and not only talking to the admin people, to the staff, but also to their alumni. So also uh, we'll be able to learn about their experience studying in those programs. How will I connect and interact with the course's representatives? I show that uh, before. I will do that again very quickly. Before I go there, let me just see if there are other questions here. There are, I will come back to them later. Um, so how will I connect and interact with other programs? Very quickly, just a reminder, uh, imagine you come here. I went to the ESPS um, stand and I want to talk with the 
program representative. So I can click either up here where it says connect with our team or here. It's the same thing. Here you see all of them listed. And if you want to speak with any of them in particular, they're not there. If they're gray, you can't click on them. You will simply send a message here. They will get back to you when they reconnect. Sometimes they are already talking to someone else. So this will show as a uh, red, for instance. But if they're green, like Alex is here, you click on it. Now he just gave an example of uh, changing that to red. Thank you, <laughs> Alex. Uh, you open the, the private chat here and then you can send him a message as I showed before. Hello. And this is this is private. Now, one important thing about the private messages, uh, save sort of all your messages, copy that, save somewhere else, because if you refresh the page, uh, if you disconnect somehow, these uh, messages that are the private ones will not be saved, right? So this is uh, because of the GDPR, because of um, yeah privacy issues. We don't hold any of your private messages. We don't have access to that. And that is not saved in our system in any way whatsoever. Let me go back to here. If there's a question here about uh, scholarship, we're going to talk about that in a second. Will I be able to talk to former students of the programs too? As I said, yes, the same way you, con you connect with uh, the, the representative, the staff in each stand, you will be able to find alumni there too. Are we able to chat and connect with other attendees? Yes. Um, again, if I show here where it says now attending tomorrow when there's going to be more than 100 people uh, at the same time there, you list all of them there. And this is another way that you can open here, see their profile, see where they're from, see a bit more information about them. Here, there's a link to a LinkedIn profile. And again, if you want to connect with them and have a private chat, you can too. Otherwise, go to the I Work in Sport Lounge, and then there's a public chat available for you here too. Do I need a university or bachelor degree to apply to the courses presenting at the event? I think to the majority of them, uh, yes, but it depends. It's a case by case. So there, there are even uh, schools, there are programs that for some courses, they will demand a university degree. And for others, they will have offers that they don't need you to have a bachelor degree. So for that, I recommend that you check with each one of them what are the requirements. Again, how do I know if I'm eligible to enroll in a program feature at the event? Same thing, you need to, to go and, and check with each of them. They're all different. There's some, some we, we got some of these questions. For instance, people want to know how much the courses cost. You know, there are courses that go from $10 uh, short online programs, um, for instance, from the sports executive path, you do it entirely online to full master's degrees uh, that will cost north than 25, close to $30,000. Uh, so there's a big range of programs and options there. It de really depends what you're looking for. And the, the last one that I have here, so if you do have uh, questions, uh, let me know. Do programs offer scholarships? And am I eligible for scholarships? Many of them do offer scholarships. If you watched the, the Meet the Program series that we had last week with four of them, with uh, with the ASTS, uh, Johan Cruyff, 
uh, Jusur and the University of Liverpool. All of them had um, scholarship schemes, but uh, each one offered them differently, some more tailored for athletes, other for women, other for, they, they have their own criteria. So again, suggest that you go in each of those booths. Right. Um, let's see if I have more questions here. If you finding this useful at all, I would, and you're watching it on, on YouTube, would really appreciate if you can hit that uh, like button there. It's, that would be super nice. Let me see. Uh, go to the comments. There is a question here from Nicolas uh, asking from Rio de Janeiro, asking if the Montfort University will represent the FIFA Master at the Expo. No, the, the FIFA Master is a different program and the Montfort University has its own sports management programs and they'll be talking about that specifically. MT Matt asks, can we watch the presentations after they have ended? Yes, um, you can. If you want to watch them live, we'll show the, um, we'll, we'll send you the agenda so we'll know when you're going to be able to. Uh, the great thing of watching them live is that you can ask questions and then the presenters can answer to you uh, right away. Uh, another thing, a talking about the presentation that we're going to have there tomorrow, well, this one specifically tomorrow, is in addition to the presentation of, of the programs there, we're going to have a keynote speech by the head of the UEFA Academy. So UEFA has its own academic venture, but it's not about the academy in itself, it's about uh, how also an organization like UEFA sees the importance of education when they're hiring people, how they see that. So I really recommend that you tune in to see that. That one will be at uh, midday, so 12 p.m. European time. Um, and yes, so if you are not able to watch it live, and you come back on the second day or a third day, you will be able to watch those videos uh, in the auditorium on demand. Sunket asks, how to decide which institute is the best for me uh, to talk with them? So Sunket, I suggest you talk with all of them and then only you can decide what's best for you. You know, sometimes people, think that uh, price is a main deciding factor. Sometimes it's actually the time that you need to allocate to that. You, sometimes you can't, tra you can't travel, so you have to do something that's more online. So it's really up uh, for you to decide. Hello, Amea. Uh, Amea asks, Collecting from Mumbai, India. Great, thank you for being here with us. How does this event help current sports management graduates like me to start a career in the industry? Amir, if you're already studying in a, in a well, sports management, it really depends. I mean, if you're doing a bachelor, for instance, and you might be interested in a post-grad, then it's definitely for you. Um, otherwise, I mean, it's a way for you to know what's um, out there and to create connections and see who else is, is interested in this, in this kind of thing. So hopefully that will present other alternatives uh, for you. Mossad asks, what's the uh, benefits of programs to the real work field? 
Most of the, each program is different, right? And each person is different as well. It depends how to see how you apply. I did a master's many years ago, was I mean, the best professional choice that I ever made. It helped me greatly, uh, not only through the one year that I studied there, uh, I did the FIFA master's many years ago, but also with the connections I created, uh, it was super, super useful. So, however, what I say is that if you're looking for a program like that only to find a job in sports, then probably there's a way that is faster and cheaper uh, for you. But if you really want to uh, enjoy the experience of meeting people from all over the world and learning from them too, not only the professors and visiting sports institutions and creating a huge network, then it's an amazing experience. I think we covered all the questions. Let me just uh, see. So I think this is it. Yeah, well, it's been what, 45 minutes, so we're pretty much within time. And, um, and it, yeah, I hope that I answered all, all your questions. I'm looking forward to seeing you there tomorrow, Wednesday and Thursday. It will be definitely a very good event. The programs are really uh, top. And yes, I can only... Oh, I, can, I, can, I cannot uh, forget uh, about that. I think I mentioned in, in the beginning as well that um, another event that we organize is the job fair. So we're going to have our virtual job fair on the 21st of May. And everyone attending the Education Virtual Expo will enter a draw to win a free ticket to that event. So a regular ticket for the educate for the virtual job fair costs um, 250 euros. And so it's a good value there. If you if you want to enter that uh, that draw, try your luck, make sure you you attend the, the event tomorrow. Right. I think this is it from me. It was great uh, being with uh, you today. We'll be sending you the agenda very soon. And if you do have more questions after this, if you're watching the replay, uh, you can leave questions in the comments of the video on YouTube or simply send an email to info at iworkinsport.com. Right. So see you there tomorrow. Enjoy and be safe.